and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over something pretty cool. Not that it's not the most common knowledge, but not that a lot of you guys might not even know it because a lot of you guys probably didn't give it a chance yet. I'm going to go over pretty much how to complete the holiday puzzle and how to get free gifts and some free stuff during the Zero Trip promo. Got quite a few, got quite some information here, you guys. Thank you guys to all you guys on Twitter who helped me out with this. You guys might not know, but when I ask certain questions on Twitter, more than likely I'm using it for a video. So, to all you guys who just helped me out right about now, like literally this exact moment, to so all you tweeting at me about rewards and hearth packs, thank you so much. I'm actually gonna give a little shout out to the guy who just helped me. A few of you guys, because I think you guys deserve it. Real quick, who was it? It was Mellow DF, Pretty Boy Mellow, and Jay Pet at 43. I appreciate you guys and Jaden2505. All three of you guys, little do you know, you just helped out and you made the vid. Thank you guys. But that's about it. Let's get into the video right after our 25 days of Pood Miss intro, guys. All you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below the secret word and your console, and you are entered to win the giveaway. But that's about it. Let's get into the video because we got a lot to cover. So first off, the holiday puzzle. If you don't know what the holiday puzzle is, it is over in sets. So let's get over to sets. The zero chill sets right here, holiday puzzle. So this holiday puzzle, guys, it's a pretty cool feature. I wish it was repeatable, but it is not. But in years past, guys, in older Madden, some of the most fun stuff was puzzles. I never could afford to actually do a puzzle because back in the day, like back in like the ancient days of Madden, puzzles were like for those heavy money spent guys, like uh, Halloween puzzles and stuff. That was a long, that was back in Madden, like the cold ages, but the dark age, I should say. But now this holiday puzzle seems pretty affordable. You can get these pieces for free. Now you have to complete every you have to get every individual puzzle piece to complete the puzzle. Now I don't believe these can be bought. Oh, these can be bought. Okay. So you could buy them. But buying them will definitely cost a lot more than it's worth. So let's say what do they all go for? It looks like they all go for about 8k. Okay, so let's just say it's 8k. So it's 8 times 5 right here, which is 40k, and then 40 times 3. So that's about 120k for a medium present, because that is the reward, a medium present. I don't recommend you actually buy the pieces unless you're stuck and you can't get the last piece. But remember, that is what the holiday puzzle collectible exchange is for. If you have some extra puzzle pieces you get, it's awesome to hear. I'm going to go over how to get everything in just a second, and also how to get free gifts. So one of the first free gifts you can get is this medium gift right here. Now, I do not think it is repeatable. I'm pretty sure once you do it once, it is done. Could I be wrong? Yes, but it typically would say repeatable if that was the case. Now, another thing that you can get done is going to be this hearth set right here. This is all part of it. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll wrap back around. You'll understand it all in a second. So place frozen players at the warming stones of the hearth, then stoke the flames with 100 kindling to defrost them and find out who's inside. Now, this does give you free players. Now, people weren't entirely sure what it was. This is repeatable, by the way. So all it requires is a frozen player collectible and 100 kindling. 100 kindling is not a lot. And the frozen player collectible, you do also get that from the same place. You get the gifts, you get the other stuff, you get the puzzle pieces, and you get the kindling from. We go over all that and why you want to be playing it. But this frozen player essentially is a 78 plus. I've seen plenty of tweets at me on Twitter, people getting McCaffrey out of it, Derwin James out of it, getting Darius Leonard, getting like 87 Tyler Hubbard or Sam Hubbard, whatever his name is. People getting a bunch of 80, 80 plus, 85, ooh, I can't speak, 85 plus. So the potential is really there to make a ton of coins with this. So. Pretty much, there's so much potential, so you don't even really care what you pull, because everything you pull is going to be adding up to all of this. So let's go over here to where you can get it from. There are, there are the house rules, the solo house rules, and, I mean, you can play the solo challenges if you want just a few of the uh, few little kindling if you get it from there, but that might recommend a thing. So there's the house rules. And guys, I'm making a video for you guys going over the fastest way to be house rules today, so stay tuned for that. That should coincide with this video and help you guys... Get an idea of how to finish them the quickest. So forget the gingerbread man for this. The gingerbread man are irrelevant for this. You do get that as an added bonus, but we're concerned with is the hearth pack. Now the hearth pack, from what I've read and from what I've played and from what I've seen, I've done all my research, you can get multiple things from this hearth pack. You can get A, kindling. The kindling's gonna be low, but remember if you play 10 games and you get five kindling, that's still 50 kindling. If you play 10 games, you get 20 kindling. That's still 200 kindling, which is enough to free unfreeze your player that you might get. So what you can get from these hearth pack, you can get presents. I think you can only get small presents, so I'm not entirely sure about medium presents. I know you can't get large. I'm pretty, I've, I've read you can get small, and you can get medium, which is cool, because then you don't got to buy them. You can save your kindling on that. You can get extra in case they're decent. See, the issue of buying them from the store is this is the issue of buying the small medium from the store. We don't know what their value is going to be yet. We don't know what's going to be in there yet. So we have to imagine they're probably packs, right? Because they're the way they're offering them to us seems kind of weird. So for them to be just two of the same gifts right here, medium and small, 240, 1290. If you buy the small and it ends up being a pack, you don't pull much stuff. You might might up losing kindling, right? We don't really know. So at least if you pull them from this, the house rules, you can get a, you can stack up a ton of them with spending nothing. So whatever it is, it's just profit for you, which I think is very beneficial. Now you can also pull the frozen player collectible, 
a small present, I believe. You can get kindling and you can get puzzle pieces. So pretty much playing house rules, remember when we were playing the Halloween one, it was kind of like, oh, I didn't get the player, I didn't get the player piece, I didn't get the player piece. You're waiting, just, you didn't really care for anything else. But now, if you get kindling, that's good because you need that to unfreeze your players or presents. If you get a present, even better, you can stack those up. If you get a puzzle piece, you can start completing your puzzle for a free medium present. There's so much to do, which is why I recommend playing these house rules. Just start spamming them. Play them like it's headset season, just start spamming them because there's so much rewards. Think about it. If you complete the puzzle piece and you get a medium gift, more than likely that equates to about 120k worth of value or or even better you don't have to get the medium gift if you don't want the medium gift stack up 20 puzzle pieces right stack up 20 of them go sell them for 8k a piece and there you go 200 what is that 20 8k times 20 i believe that is the word for today's video is chill comment down below the word chill subscribe to the channel comment your console and like the video once you do all those things you're entered to win good luck 160k easy enough right there that's 160k then you do your frozen collectible you pull 88 over a player what's that another 50 40k now you're 200k you could easily get a quarter million almost 250k just off of playing these plus the house rewards plus everything else plus the gingerbread man for your free gingerbread players this is the best thing to be doing right now as far as what to be doing during the zero chill promo now remember they also have the offline solo challenge so if you're a guy that can't win online and you're like oh i can't do this i can't win online don't worry there's the hearth solo challenge come by the hearth to check out these very merry games there will be a new game each week with new rules and you also do get a frozen player collectible for your first time playing it so you can also instead of waiting for one get your frozen player collectible from this right here collect that go and melt that and see what you get and then you can start playing these just like a ltd so just like the house rules same exact rules but you're playing them offline i believe so i think it's kind of boring to play offline not exactly my cup of tea but a lot of guys kind of like it especially if you're not that great at the game and i know it's unfair right if you're not great at the game i never get the house rewards there you go they gave you an option for that so make sure you're getting that done so you can be doing either or it doesn't really matter now remember once you get all that this is where it comes back and it all wraps around so if you're gonna unfreeze the player you have to go buy the kindling now i'll explain to you what i mean in a second so it takes 100 kindling to unfreeze them but again you can't put 100 kindling into a set you have to actually go and buy a 100 kindling quick sell collectible so you're technically it's not like you're spending anything you're exchanging your 100 kindling for a quick sell that you put into the set which is essentially the same thing so let's go back to the sets to wrap up what you can be getting here total from playing the house rules and getting a lot of stuff done because you guys probably didn't think the house rules were that valuable with the way the rewards seem so holiday puzzle first this, ex this expires December 24th at 7 p.m. So you have until then. So you could also this this another thing you could do if you want if you really want to get presents right. Get your 15 puzzle pieces, complete your puzzle. Now remember, let's say you get two of the star or you get three of the star, right? But you're missing a middle a middle piece of the ornaments in the tree. Damn, how am I gonna get that? You go over to the holiday puzzle exchange collectible exchange. You toss in your two stars that you have extra or any of the ones you have extra. And you go, you get an exchange, and you get to pick the piece you want. So you can start picking your missing pieces, just like a real puzzle. And place it right there. Now, again, if you really feel stuck and you can't get one piece you really don't want, play just play house with a few more times, get a few extra ones, and exchange them. Or if you're really if you're really lazy and you're really impatient, just go buy it off the block. I don't recommend that because you then are killing your value. And now, once you complete the puzzle the first time, right? And apparently, you can't repeat it, so you can't repeat it. All the extra puzzle pieces you get, just start tossing them on the block. Like you can start stacking up coins. If you pull a puzzle piece like two out of every ten games, in ten games you're getting the kindling. You're getting maybe a first player collectible and then you're getting 16k you're stacking up coins this is a great way to make coins during the christmas promo in my opinion as well as once you're done with that you have the hearth now you come over here with all the frozen players you have probably built up you toss them in with 100 kindling get a player it's 78 plus players which i think is a great value because let's see what let's see what 78 plus players are going for on the actual store it should i'm, I'm imagining it's discounted here so let's see the 78 pluses are 625 training so you can actually buy it with kindling so this is the only way to get 78 pluses with kindling is that way i think that's really cheap 100 kindling for a 78 plus overall which easily easily could be a lot more let's see what the let's see what the kindling rate is to see what the return rate on these are so let's go to newest and let's see all these, these zero chill players i just got so 78 overall which is the lowest you can get is 26 kindling so you will be losing about 75 kindling if you pull the worst thing a 79 is 31 kindling again about 70 if you pull the worst thing and 83 is 206 so i'd imagine in anything over an 80 plus pull is getting your kindling back not to mention you're getting it from houses anything above an 80 so there's tons tons of potential to double triple your kindling maybe you pull a big one you get like 7,000 kindling guys i'm telling you there's so much potential from these that is why i recommend playing house rules because you know what house rules is it's not full games it doesn't require you like draft and put coins in first there is no investment needed it is the safest way right now all you have to do is play a bunch of house rules come exchange your stuff play a bunch of house come exchange your stuff and then once you finish your puzzle you're gonna have a medium gift you're gonna have a lot of small gifts from uh, the house rules and then you're gonna get guess what happens next Puzzle piece AK, puzzle piece AK, puzzle piece AK, puzzle piece AK. 
There you go. Times four, 32K. Hearth player pulled an 88, another 50K, 90K. You're gonna be stacking up your coins and then maybe one extra large presence if they do come out, come out, or more large presence. You're gonna have so many coins already. You can start investing with those coins. And that's the other beauty of this, right? So you can get free players from this, free puzzle pieces, free presents, and free coins, essentially, just by playing house rules, which is probably one of the better things they've dropped in quite a while, considering the range of outcomes for this. And again, remember, if you save up all these coins, then the blitz comes out, you have tons of coins for blitz, and then you can invest further. I think this is the best thing you need to be doing right now in Madden. There's really not much else out at the exact moment, so I think this is honestly the best thing you want to be doing at this moment, to be quite honest with you guys. But that is about it for the video. I think I covered everything that's covered. Sorry if I talked a little fast. I got a little excited. I got really into this video. I felt like this was some great information for you guys. Now, that pretty much covers the video. Remember to enter the 25 Days of Pudmas. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below the secret word, and your console. Once you do all the things, you're entered to win. Good luck. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, you guys see this video, and stay tuned for the 1030 video to see the giveaway winner. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.